Oh man, I hate that sound! Have you heard the true story of Ben 10? The real story might ruin your childhood memories and your image of Ben 10. If you're brave enough and want to know the original story, watch until the end. In a far-off universe known as Azimuth, darkness and anger lurked everywhere. In this place, a brilliant but deeply troubled mind created a terrible device called the Carnitrix. This invention wasn't meant to help people. It was made to destroy. Azimuth, consumed by his own sadness and fury, built the Carnitrix for one purpose, to spread chaos throughout the universe. In his sorrow and madness, he launched it into space, aiming for Earth. The people on Earth had no idea the Carnitrix existed. It lay hidden and inactive, waiting for the perfect time to awaken. That moment came when a young boy named Ben Tennyson accidentally found the device. When the Carnitrix attached itself to Ben, its dark powers were unleashed. Unlike the Omnitrix, a device that allowed Ben to transform into aliens and save lives, the Carnitrix was evil. It twisted Ben and the aliens he transformed into, making them monstrous and dangerous. The Carnitrix saw Ben's cousin, Gwen, as a threat. In a tragic turn of events, Ben, controlled by the Carnitrix, was forced to kill Gwen and later his beloved Grandpa Max. As Ben continued to use the Carnitrix, he lost more of himself. Each transformation dragged him deeper into madness. He became a puppet to the device, spreading destruction wherever he went. His heroic days were gone, replaced by chaos and despair. In one of his darkest moments, Ben transformed into the powerful celestial being known as the Sapan. He unleashed massive destruction that wiped out entire planets. His horrific actions caught the attention of Professor Paradox, a time-traveling guardian. Knowing how dangerous the Carnitrix was, Paradox assembled a team of Bens from different universes, each with their own experiences and abilities. Together, they faced the corrupted Ben, though many fell in the process. One of the versions of Ben, known as Ben 10,000, fought with all his might. He tapped into his ultimate transformation, Atomix, in a final attempt to stop the madness. After a fierce battle, the Carnitrix was destroyed, and with the power of the celestial beings, they restored the shattered universe. But even in victory, Ben was haunted by the terrible things he had done. The guilt of killing Gwen, Grandpa Max, and countless others weighed heavily on him. Sensing Ben's pain, Professor Paradox decided to offer him a way to make things right. Using his powers over time, Paradox sent Ben back to the moment he first found the Carnitrix, but this time, with all his memories of what had happened. With this second chance, Ben was determined never to fall into darkness again. He vowed to prevent the horrors caused by the Carnitrix and change his future. Filled with a new sense of purpose, Ben set out on a journey to rewrite his fate. He would make sure the tragedy never repeated, forever changing the history of his world and the universe. Now, I'm going to tell you a spooky story about Traumatrix, an alternate universe created by a fan of Ben 10. Subscribe to the channel for more stories like this and share the video with your friends. Also, let us know in the comments what story you'd like to hear next. The story begins years ago with Asmuth, the original creator of the Omnitrix. But in this version, instead of working on the Omnitrix, Asmuth was busy with other projects. He ended up falling in love with a human woman, and they had a daughter together. Asmuth raised his daughter with lots of love for many years, but his daughter always wanted to visit Earth, her mother's home planet. So she asked Asmuth to take her there. Being a good father, Asmuth agreed and took her to Earth in a spaceship. His daughter stayed on Earth for over 3,000 years. But when she finally returned to see her father, things were bad. Humans had captured her, and she suffered horrible things like abuse and discrimination. When Asmuth saw what had happened to her, he was furious. He couldn't believe that humans were so cruel. Wanting revenge, Asmuth used his intelligence to take action. 
He already had several Omnitrix prototypes, so he changed one to make it a weapon for revenge. He even used pieces of his daughter's body in the Omnitrix. The once-loving father had now gone mad. Asmuth also made other changes to the Omnitrix. He added a parasite function, so the watch would attach itself to its user's mouth. He even made some of the alien forms it could transform into look attractive to lure people in. The Omnitrix could also turn into strange, deformed aliens to create as much chaos as possible on Earth. Once everything was ready, Asmuth launched the Omnitrix toward Earth. And this is where the story begins. It starts like a regular day. Ben was exploring the forest when he saw what looked like a meteor fall from the sky and crash. Curious, he went to check it out. When something unexpected happened, a strange object crawled into Ben's mouth, starting the parasitism process I mentioned earlier. Without hesitation, the watch transformed him into a phantasmal alien, but a different version. Next, we see a man relaxing in a small, isolated house. Something on TV catches his eye. A bizarre creature with sharp teeth is clinging to the window. He runs to grab a revolver, but when he tries to shoot the alien, he misses. The creature lunges at him, and he doesn't stand a chance, losing his mind. After that, we see Grandpa Max, who notices something strange happening on Earth and decides to investigate. He finds Ben, but something is off. Ben has the watch in his mouth, his eyes are empty, and he speaks in a sinister voice, wanting to kill Max. Ben transforms into XLR-8 and attacks Grandpa Max, piercing him in the stomach and stomping down hard, causing Max's head to explode. Next, we see Cousin Gwen, horrified by what just happened. Then we cut to Vilgax talking to a woman. He already knows about the watch and might become a villain or a hero in the future. In another scene, some teenagers are at an isolated house, having fun playing truth or dare. One girl is dared to check on the chickens at midnight. She doesn't want to go alone, so she calls her boyfriend to join her. While they look after the chickens, they share a sweet moment, but suddenly a mysterious creature appears. It's Ben, transformed into a female cold alien. The boyfriend finds the creature strange and approaches it, but his hand gets severed. He quickly loses his life, and his girlfriend is terrified. Then the alien disappears and attacks her with a scream that bursts eardrums nearby. Ben continues to attack everyone at the event and all around the world. 